G'day, Terry here. I'm just going to take a few seconds to explain about your tumbler press, how it works, before we go into the video of it actually showing you step by step of it actually producing tumblers. Look, unlike most mug presses, this has got two pressure screws, as you can see in the photo. Now they need to be twisted evenly to bring the platen closed on the tumbler press even and level all the way across. Now there are two temperature modes. One is the idle or the resting temperature, which is generally set at 160. And the, then there's the cooking temperature of 175. Uh, and also the timer, uh, which can vary. Uh, the cooking temperature and the timer can vary depending on the product that you're doing. Uh, for tumblers, it's generally 175 and 20 seconds for the timing. Now, uh, there's a set button, as you can see there in the arrow, and the set button changes each one of those settings. So what I'm saying to you basically is that the, as soon as you turn your mug press on, it's gonna go straight up and sit at the resting temperature, and it won't heat up higher until you actually close the press and clamp it in, and then it will measure the temperature of the product slowly decrease and then slowly rise up to 175 and then it will kick in the timer for 20 seconds. Okay, now how you ch adjust the temperatures, the, set, the resting temperature and the cooking temperature and the timer is by pressing the set button and adjusting it with these up and down arrows as you can see, up and down depending on whether you want to increase or decrease either of them. We're going to show you all about your brand new Galaxy Tumbler Press. Uh, fantastic, where you can do full tumblers all the way around, wraps without mark, without lines, etc. Da, da, da. We're going to do it in three start, four stages today. Uh, look, we're going to first part. We're going to set the pressure. Sarah Jane, just open and close it. We're going to show you how to set the pressure. Then we're going to come over and we're going to talk all about the control box, how it's set. You know how to set your time and your two different temperatures. We're then going to come over here and as you can see we've already done some beautiful tumbles already but this one here has got that white gap down the middle which happens because you can't sublimate all the way around and this one here is where we've done our press and spin method where you can and as you can see how beautiful that is and if you look at the other ones here we've already done a series of tests where we've just done some beautiful designs uh, and you can do it all the way around. Now we're okay now we've already talked about the pressure now we're going to talk about how your mug press arrives to you this is how it arrives first thing you've got to do is plug the power cord in or the platen in so it's lined up and it's nice and tight and we're going to spin it around and we've got to put the power in make sure the power's off at this stage turn it around now i've already talked to you about the different times different temperatures and times and how to set that so what we're going to do now is we're going to when I say to turn it on Sarah Jane she's going to turn the press on and it's going to heat up to your resting temperature or your idling temperature around 60 but before she does that we're going to go through actually changing each one so if, there we go so if we turn the press on and it just takes a few seconds and we don't know what the temperatures are at the moment so the only way you can find out is by pressing the set button and there it is, that's our first idling temperature, 160, and you can alter that by going up and down with the arrow, right? Okay, now if you hit the set button again, this is our cooking temperature, now that has to go up to 175. And, okay, before you hit the set button again, so there are your two temperatures. Now when we hit the set button for the third time, now, now we're gonna adjust the time. And at the moment it's 20 seconds and once again that can go up and down as well. If you feel you need a little bit more time or temperature you can adjust both the second temperature and the time. Okay, now there we go. And you press the set button once more to go out of it. And now that is going to slowly heat up to 160 degrees. And while that's happening, we're gonna come over here and we're going to now get ready to do our first tumbler. So while that's heating up, Sarah Jane's going to, we've got two prints here. This one here is exactly 180 centimetres 
around the mug. If you'd like to point that out, Sarah Jane, from side to side, that's 180. This one is 240 millimeters side to side, right? And what that means is that that, that means that's gonna give us a full wrap and that's gonna give us the one where there's a little white gap. Okay, so if we move this one out of the way and now we get our scissors and what we're going to do is we're just gonna trim this about a centimeter away from the image. And get rid of that paper. We get our first tumbler take the cap off and get our heat tape, beautiful heat tape dispenser this, cuts them off in little pieces. We're going to wrap the tumbler with the paper, making sure that it's evenly spaced. And just as you would do a normal mug, we're just gonna tick the tape on like that. And it's really just to hold it in place Okay, spin it around and lining it all up. There we go. Yep, beautiful. And you'll notice that we put a little lip on the tape there and that's gonna make it easy to get the paper off when we're finished. So whilst we're waiting, still waiting, look, the temperature's still coming up. It's only at 91, 92. We'll now might as well get the next one ready as well. Might as well keep rolling, eh? So we'll trim this off pretty much right up to the image on this one because this is gonna be the press and spin where we do the whole complete wrap. Amazing, they look great as you can see. All right, so there we go. Once again, we get our tumbler and our tape. We just put a little dog's ear, I call them, where, they, where it flips over so you can easily grab the tape off the paper with your nails. And we're just going to get that down in position, bring that around very, very carefully. All right, just so it covers and tape it down. That's it. No need to tape too much. We'll probably put another one in the middle and on the other edge. Now, look, you can, if you want, tape it inside the mug, but look, there's no need to. You've just got to be very careful when you slide that into the mug press, okay? Because you don't want the paper clipping. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're all good to go and look, and we're at 112, 113, okay? So I'm gonna stop the video now and come back when we're nearly at the right temperature. Okay, here we go, we're back. And as you can see, the temperature's now risen to 160 and it's sitting there, just rest, resting and idling. So we're gonna grab the first tumbler, there you go, the one with the white gap. Sarah Jane's gonna carefully slide it in and as we said, just be careful to make sure that the paper is, the tape is in the right spot and we're gonna clamp it. There we go. And as you look now over here, you'll see the temperature, see that, look, it's dropping. Now that temperature is gonna drop down to a certain point where it starts to warm the tumbler up and it will now slowly rise up past the 160 up to 175. And when it hits the 175, the 20 seconds will kick in and it'll count down to zero and that's when the magic happens. And I'll be back in a few seconds or a few minute or so not sure how long it takes. It can vary depending on the temperature of the room or where you are, whether you're in Darwin, Alice Springs, Antarctica, you name it. Afghanistan, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Okay, now look, I'm back quickly just to show you that it's gone past the 160, right? And it's still continuing now up to the 175, okay? The tumbler's still in there. Okay, back again. There it is, 173, nearly there. Now, if you look over here, what Sarah Jane's got is a little piece of cloth where I would recommend you get a heat, uh, heat, what is it again, Sarah? Heat proof glove. A heat proof right. glove or an oven mitt, okay? There it is, 175, and off goes. There, the magic is happening now. That's, believe it or not, the sublimation is happening. The ink is now 
coming away from the paper, the magic is happening. So what, when the beep goes off, could be a song in that. There we go, we're gonna open the press up. Mary Jane's gonna gently pull it out. And we're going to now pull the tape off. And now you can see why we needed those little wraps. Look at that, beautiful. Now there's the white of the back of it. Now spin it around. Look at that, look how beautiful that is. Now that's very hot. We'll come back and show you that again soon, all right? Okay, so if we put that down now, Sarah Jane, over with the others there, why not? And if you look at the paper, look, all the inks come off that paper, beautiful, nearly. 99% of it's off that, righto. So now we come back over here. This time we're gonna do the spin and wrap. Now, if you look at the press, we've just gotta wait until that gets back down to 160 degrees and it'll slowly come go down uh, get our bug and there we go okay do we need to wait that till it's 160 i think it'll be all right to drop. put it yeah. in now i think we'll put it in so we're going to pull the spin and wrap it now so we're going to do it exactly the same close it up and there you go now if you look here it were already started to drop previously from 175. Now it's dropping down again. So this will be exactly the same as the first one. It's going to drop down in temperature and I'll be back in a sec when it gets close to 175 and we're going to show you how to do the press and spin. Okay, back again. And now we're going to do the press and spin. Now, as you can see, it's up to 174, it's gonna to go to 175, and there it is, here we go. First lot of sublimation's happening now, but, but obviously it's not happening in the back of the tumbler like in the first one we did, but it will, because what we're going to do now is when it gets down to zero, rather than take this out, we're just gonna open the press up and we're gonna spin it. Okay, so open it up, grab your, mo your tumbler, and we're just gonna carefully spin it around there we go, right, there we go. Now we're going to wait around 20 seconds. Around 20 seconds, right? Until the temperature drops. See how it's dropping? Now if you closed it when it was at 175, it would cook straight away and it wouldn't work. You have to wait at least 20 seconds or until it's under 170 degrees, right? Okay, now we can close it up again now. Now what's happening here is 90% of the tumble has already been sublimated. So all we're doing now is sublimating the part that wasn't done the first time. And it doesn't take as long because the tumbler is nice and hot. And as you can see, look, it's still hanging. Look, it's going up in temperature already. So whereas the first time it dropped right down, this one's now going to 170. So I'm gonna keep the camera rolling here because this is important because we want you to make beautiful tumblers and be able to sell them to your family, your friends, and also if you have to, want to give them away at Christmas time or birthdays or for your business if you've got a gymnasium or even a sports club how good everyone in the team could have their own drink bottle with their own name on it right here we go so now it's counting down again see right and this time it's sublimating the back part that wasn't done the first time nearly ready to go. Once again, make sure you've got an oven mitt or a, there we go, beeps off, open it up, grab it out, put it on top of the mug press, tumbler press, turn it around, grab the paper, there it is, see, and take it off. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, look at that, all the way around, see? Oh my God, look at that. That's beautiful. And that's how you do a tumble press or, or a print press and spin. And there it is, look. And once again, the paper gets thrown away. Look, nothing on the paper and there it is. So we're coming back now and we'll just show you the end result. 
and obviously temperature's going to drop down. Let's turn the press off, Sarah Jane, because you're finished for the moment. And close it up and all ready for the next one.